8 plus 6 is 14, 14 plus 2 is uh, 16, 16 plus 2 is 18, 18 plus 2 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 26. Cumulative frequency. Like this, Xi, Fi, cumulative frequency, Xi minus M, then multiply Xi minus M with F and simplify using the formula. Now, therefore, x bar is equal to sigma fi xi divided by n. Hello, dear students. Welcome to this session of Mathematical and Statistical Computing class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Computer Science, Vidashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. In my previous class, we have discussed regarding finding the mean deviation for a group data. Now, today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding mean deviation for group data as well as uh, finding the median, right? Now, let us take one simple problem. Find the mean deviation about the median. Find the mean deviation about the median for the given data. What is given? Xi and Fi. Xi, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, and 7, 15. Fi, is 8, 6, 2, 2, 2 and 6. This is the given data. Now, re represent this in the given table like this Xi, Fi, cumulative frequency Xi minus M, then multiply Xi minus M with F and simplify using the formula. Now, just write down what is Xi given? Xi 5, 7, 9, 5, 7, 9, then 10, 12, 15, 10, 12 and 15. Right. So, then F I 8, 6, 8, 6, then 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and the last one is 6. This is the given data. Okay. Now, just find out N. What is N? N is nothing but sigma F I. Sigma F I is equal to add this. So, if you add how much you will get? 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. Plus 6 is 26. Okay. So, this is equal to? 26. That means sigma Fi is equal to 26. This is also equal to n. n is equal to 26. Now, cumulative frequency. Just find out Cf. Now, the first one is Fi is 8. So, Cf is 8. Add this. 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. Again, 14 plus 2 is 16. Just go on adding. So, like this. Again, 16 plus 2. 16 plus 2 is 18. Again, 18 plus 2. 18 plus 2 is 20. 20 plus 6 is equal to 26. Okay. This is cumulative frequency. 8. Add this. 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 2 is uh, 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. 20 plus 2 is 26. Cumulative frequency. Okay. Now, just here, what is n? n is an even. Since n is equal to 26 is an even number. So, therefore, find out m. Capital M is equal to capital M is equal to 1 by 2 into what is the formula? 1 by 2 into n by 2 observation plus n by 2 plus 1 observation. So, what is this equal to? Half of n, n is nothing but 26 by 2 plus 26 by 2 plus 1. That is nothing but half of 26 by 2 is 13. 13 plus 1 is 14. So, this is equal to half of what is this? 13th and 14th observation. 13th observation and 14th observation. So, what is 13th and 14th observation? See, this is uh, 14 is here. Okay. So, 13th and 14th observation are same. That is 7, 7 plus 7. That is equal to 14 by 2 is equal to 7. So, therefore, capital M is equal to 7. Okay. Now, just substitute this here. So, Xi minus M. Xi minus M is nothing but mod of Xi minus M is 7. Xi, 5 minus 7. Mod of 5 minus 7 as usual. This is minus 2 is nothing but plus 2. 7 minus 7 is 0. Again, Xi is 9 minus 7. 9 minus 7 is plus 2. 10 minus 7 is plus 3. Again, 12 minus 7, 12 minus 7 is 5. Again, 15 minus 7 is 8. Okay. This is Xi minus M. Okay. Now, just multiply these two. F into Xi minus M. Multiply these two. So, 8 into 2, 16. Again, 6 into 0 is 0. Again, 2 into 2 is 4. 
again then 2 into 3 is 6 2 into 5 is 10 again 6 into 8 48 that's it 16 0 4 6 10 and 48 add this so if I add this sigma fi xi minus m mod is equal to 84 you will get 84 okay now therefore the mean deviation is given by what is to find the mean deviation about the median so median is equal to so what we got the median median is equal to 7 therefore the mean deviation mean deviation about the median about median x bar is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to how many values are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 1 to 6 fi into xi minus m divided by n so that's equal to what is uh, sigma fi xi minus n 84 divided by 26 84 divided by 26 so if we divide 84 by 26 this is approximately equal to 3.23 this is 3.23 so therefore the mean deviation about the median is 3.23 that's it this is how we are going to solve mean deviation in the previous class we have discussed regarding mean here it is mean deviation so in the previous class we have discussed regarding the mean deviation about the mean here mean deviation about the median okay now move on to the next problem find the mean deviation about the mean for the following data so here the class interval is given so find the mean deviation about the mean for the following data again mean deviation about the mean so class interval is given and the number of students are given so the marks obtained 10 20 20 30 30 40 40 50 50 60 60 70 70 80 and the number of students is given 2 3 8 14 8 3 and 2 okay now just represent this in a table Mars obtained 10, 20, 20, 30, the given values and the number of students 2, 3, 8 as what is the given. So, if you add sigma fi is equal to, sigma fi is equal to, if you add this is equal to 40, right. So, find out the midpoint of xi. What is midpoint of xi? So, midpoint of xi is equal to 10 plus 20 divided by 2, 30 by 2, that is equal to 15, it is 15. Similarly, 20 plus 30, 50 divided by 2 is 25. Just add 10, 10, that is it. 30 plus 40, 30 plus 40 is 70 divided by 2 is 35. Just go on adding 10, 10 for this. Next, 45. Again, 50 and 60, it is 55. Again, 60, 70, it is 65, xi. Again, the midpoint of this, 70 plus 80 is equal to 75. Okay, this is how we are going to find the midpoint. Just add and divide by 2 or just for the first value go on adding 10 10 10 that is it ok. Now find out fi xi multiply these two 15 into 2 that is equal to 30 25 into 3 is 75 and 35 into 8 that is equal to 280 again 45 into 14 630 again 55 into 8 440 again 65 into 3 195 and the last one 75 into 2 that is equal to 150 ok. Now if you add this sigma fi xi is equal to 1800. So sigma fi xi is equal to 1800 ok. Now find out x bar. Now just find out uh, x bar. x bar is equal to now therefore x bar is equal to sigma fi xi divided by n. So, what is sigma fi xi? 1800 divided by n is this is nothing but n sigma fi 1800 divided by 40. 1800 divided by 40 this is equal to 45. So, x bar is equal to 45. Okay, x bar is equal to 45. So, the mean, mean is 45. Now, substitute here. So, fi minus x bar that is mod of xi that is mod of xi minus x bar xi minus x bar is 45 so subtract 45 from this 15 minus 45 modulus of this first value 15 minus mod of 45 is mod 30 modulus of 30 is plus itself 
plus 30. Okay. Next, 25 minus 45, that is equal to plus 20. 35 minus 45 is 10. 45 minus 45 is 0. 55 minus 45 is again 10. 65 minus 45 is 20. 75 minus 45 is 30. That's it. Okay. Now, multiply these two. F5 into xi minus these two. F5 into this. Multiply these two. So, 30 into 2 is 60. This is 60. Again, 3 into 2 is 6. 20 is 60. 20 into 3 is 60. Again, 8 into 10, it is 80. Again, 14 into 0 is 0. Again, 8 into 10, 80. Then, 3 into 20 is 60. 30 into 2 is also 60. That's it. Okay. Now, so if you add this sigma, fi into xi minus x bar is equal to 400. So, you will get 400. So, therefore, what is to find? The mean deviation about the mean is given by therefore the mean deviation, mean deviation about the mean is capital M is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to how many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1 to 7 fi into xi minus x bar divided by n. That's it. Okay. Now, what is this equal to? 400, 400 divided by n. What is n is 40. 400 by 40 is nothing but 10. So, therefore, the mean deviation is equal to 10. That's it. So, the mean deviation is equal to 10. This is how we are going to solve the problem whenever the class interval is given. Okay, very important type problem for 8 marks. So, you got an idea how to solve whenever the class interval is given. Just uh, find out n sigma fi. Then after that multiply these two. Just multiply these two and find out fi xi. So, sigma fi xi. Then find out x bar. x bar is equal to sigma fi xi divided by n. So, that is equal to 45. Then find out mod of xi minus x bar, just subtract uh, 45 from this xi and again multiply fi into xi minus x bar. So, the mean deviation about the mean is given by sigma i is equal to 1 to n fi xi minus x bar divided by n that is 400 divided by 40 that is equal. So, this is 10 that means the mean deviation about the mean is given by 10. So, first problem what we have studied in the first problem it is mean deviation about the median. The second one is the mean deviation, mean deviation about the mean. So, these are the two types of problems. You may expect uh, these type of questions for the point of uh, examination. Okay. So, that's all regarding today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.